there. Um, today I'm going to show you the custom background for your object doc like I have over here. Uh, yeah. So first you're going to go over to your Google Chrome or your Firefox or Internet Explorer. Then you're going to go over to www.iconspedia.com. The link will be in the description, so don't worry about that. Okay, once you're here, you're going to go search icon. Uh, search for anything you like. Uh, I'm gonna search for ball. Once the page loads, you're gonna have a load of icons. They're all free, so don't worry. Don't worry about that. Uh, gonna, I'm gonna download this. Uh, remember to download as PNG because so, it's gonna give you the trans transparent background. Then uh, to the right, you're gonna have all the sizes. Uh, I recommend 256 by 256 as it's pretty much the correct size for your object doc. Okay, uh, once you click on it, it'll be downloaded. doesn't take that long. I'm going to minimize my Google Chrome, and there it is. Okay, then you're going to open up your Adobe Photoshop or any, of your, any other uh, photo editing software that you have, because uh, you're going to have to make the icon a little bit smaller. Okay, you're going to open up your icon. And there it is. Okay, um, now you can just mess with it. Uh, I, rec I recommend you first make it about half the size so it doesn't cover up the entire of, uh, entire of your icon. And then move it to the middle. Then you can just do whatever you like to it. I'm gonna skew it to make it a bit diagonal like that. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna do much with it. You just do whatever you like when you're doing your own icon. Then just click OK. Once you're done, you just go File, Save for Web or Web Devices or Devices. Okay, not Save As, Save for Web. Okay. Then uh, make sure you have PNG8 selected and just save save it to your desktop okay uh, rename it to let's say example dot png then save it okay once it's saved uh, there it is okay then what you're gonna do now is uh, open up your local disk um, then your program files go down to star doc that's where your object doc folder is by default then uh, backgrounds tiles glass gl series okay what you're gonna do now is uh, open up your background.ini file and change the name to whatever you want let's say uh, uh, custom icon or background uh, they don't have to be together okay then you're gonna go to the image equal change this exactly to your example.png okay exactly to the file that you're gonna put in the others just leave it as they are uh, okay okay don't just close it you're gonna have to file save as desktop okay and change the i to some other letter uh, let's say z I'm guessing uh, once uh, that's done you're just gonna save it as the ini file save it and it should pop up right there okay now you can close it since it's saved okay now you're just gonna uh, drag these two files into your uh, object doc folder as so uh, then just continue continue and you should be done right now uh, yeah 
just double checking okay the name should be custom background okay so now you're gonna just go over to your object dock configuration your appearance and go over to background and it should be named custom background there it is and there you have your custom background for your object dock thank you guys and uh comment below on what else you want to know